The highest speed humans have been able to figure out is the speed of light. And the only thing that can go faster than light is only seen in sci-fi films. What would happen if we could travel at a speed of light or even faster than light? And the reason I ask is that if we want to leave the solar system, we need an insane speed or we will be stuck here forever. You might know that Voyager 1 moves at a speed of 17 kilometers a second and it took 35 years for it to leave the solar system. So how can we speed this up? There is an idea that's seen in sci-fi films called warp drive. In the 1960s, warp drive was extremely famous and that was because of the Star Trek TV series. In Star Trek, they would use warp drive to reach speeds higher than the speed of light. Einstein always said, the laws of physics shows us that the maximum speed we could reach is the speed of light in space. It has been more than a hundred years since he said that, but can we find something that could travel faster than light and basically prove Einstein wrong? Right now, this is just a theory because it's only light that could travel at the speed of light. And to this day, we haven't even been able to move an atom at the speed of light. So it's hard to imagine something bigger. The speed of light is about 300,000 kilometers a second, but at the size of the universe, this speed is actually extremely slow. You guys know what a light year is, right? It's traveling for one year at the speed of light, and that's 300,000 kilometers a second. So one year straight, and you're moving 300,000 kilometers each second. There's not enough zeros for this and our calculator blew up. Because this is only one light year, the closest star to us is about four light years away from us. So even if we have the speed of light, it will take us four years just to get to the next star. So if we send Voyager 1 with the speed of 17 kilometers a second to that star, how long will it take to get there? 40,000 years. So the speed of Voyager 1 seems like a joke in space. 40,000 years means we can't go, unless we figure something out that's faster than light. Einstein said that our universe is separate from time. Imagine the universe as a fabric, and anything that has gravity will create a dimple in that fabric. And that's the reason a planet like Earth is rotating around a star like our sun. Physicists believe time and space are a different thing and the fastest speed you could travel on this fabric is the speed of light. But if you want to move faster than the speed of light, you will have to modify the fabric of space. But these are all just theories. The idea of warp drive has actually been studied by a lot of physicists. A lot of scientists have done research on this project and they believe if you could warp the fabric of space in this motion, basically a wall behind you and bend the space in front of you, you could reach speeds faster than the speed of light. Exactly the same thing they were doing in Star Trek. In Star Trek, when they would pass by stars, it would stretch out like they're getting extended. That's how fast they were moving. But obviously, physicists say we cannot do such thing with today's technology. The first thing we need is a spacecraft that has an unbelievable amount of mass. And we need that mass to bend space like this. Some physicists believe 
This is possible with antimatter, something that can create an unbelievable amount of energy. And if you see our video about the CERN facility, you know what I'm talking about. There is a German physicist by the name of Dr. Eric Lentz. He has been busy studying warp drive for years, and he believes we can create a spacecraft, put a gas bubble around such spacecraft, and this bubble will allow us to reach the mass we need to move at that speed. You could say this idea is accepted by Einstein's theory, the theory that space and time are separate. And that's why Dr. Lentz says, if we could bend space like this, we will have access to a different dimension. Time is passing, but you're no longer on the fabric of space. So the law of speed of light is not valid anymore. Dr. Lentz continues and says, these theories that we speak of will not be done in the near future, but far away in the future, humans will reach this idea before they reach the speed of light. Dr. Lentz believes for the future humans, it will be easier to figure out warp drive rather than traveling at the speed of light. Eric Lentz believes the spacecraft you need to use for such mission will need the same energy that our sun produces. And that might be a job for antimatter. Most physicists believe anything Einstein said is worth studying upon and we should continue studying how the fabric of space and time works. Scientists believe that our goal is not warp drive, but we want to figure out what's the difference between space and time and figuring this out will have us one step closer to another dimension. Don't mistake this idea with wormholes. Because in the wormhole theory, you will have to bend space and time and create a shortcut through that fabric. And Einstein spoke about that as well, and we've made a video on it. But in warp drive, you do not bend space, you modify the space. So in theory, you separate time and space, and it allows you to move faster than the speed of light. I wouldn't be surprised if in the near future, humans create facilities and laboratories that could create an artificial fabric space, similar to the CERN facility in Switzerland. In this facility, they could move protons nearing the speed of light. And the most interesting thing is that they created antimatter in this facility. So seeing a laboratory like this in the future would not be a surprise. It seems like we're stuck on a faraway island and we have no equipment to get us out of there. We know there are different islands around us, but we have no equipment to get there. 